we are going to talk about uh, coulomb's law in a medium hello students and uh, today we are going to talk uh, we are going to talk about uh, coulomb's law in a medium in the previous class we have left with some questions so let's uh, first have some questions there and after that we will be studying the effect of medium in electrostatics okay okay this is the question regarding the time period this is the question regarding the time period and equilibrium okay so this is the question regarding the time period and equilibrium okay great so let's have a case okay let's have a case there are two cases let's have the first case what is the first case actually it is let us suppose we have two charges of plus q all right we have two charges of plus q at a distance you can say a from each other clear now what are we going to do we are going to place a charge of a small plus q it is also positive this is also positive and this is also positive let us say it is at a distance a by 2 from okay sir it is at a distance a by 2 from okay so what we should do now let us suppose let us suppose we have just displaced this charge by a distance a small x okay let us just displace the, this charge by a small distance x so what will happen here what will happen here after the after the displacement after the displacement the distance from this charge will be a by 2 minus x and the distance from the another charge will be a by 2 plus x okay sir okay sir okay sir get it so clear so what will happen here please try to understand whenever we will just hold this charge and displace it by x where you can say x is very small okay where you can say x is very small clear so if x is very small and you are displacing this charge from its original position and the original position was in equilibrium original position was in equilibrium okay so whenever we will displace x toward any of the charge what will happen this distance will decrease here this distance will decrease at the same time this distance will increase so here what is happening is whenever we displace this charge a little x the force due to this charge on this positive charge will increase let us say it's f1 here was also forces this was f1 and the force due to this charge was f2 and at initial condition at initial condition we can say that f1 was equals to f2 because of the equilibrium position okay so whenever we displace 
discharge by x remember x is very small so what happens by the decreasing of this distance the force between these two charges increases f1 will increase similarly forces between these two charges will decrease so here f2 will decrease isn't it so at this condition you can say that f1 is greater than f2 okay sir clear so this is the condition that we will be having at this point we just release the charge we have hold the charge displace it x and release the charge so when we release it what will happen is due to the greater magnitude of this force this charge will try to come back to its original form which was something here isn't it we have displaced it by x okay so this charge will try to come towards its original form towards its original place position okay but when it will reach here whenever it will reach here it will be having a velocity it will be having a velocity so this velocity will due to the inertia this velocity will also just make this charge to go farther and it will again go as far as x towards the other charge and this phenomena will be continue okay so by this phenomena this is small q charge from its original position at x equals to 0 to x equals to x it will perform a motion to and fro like this okay so the question is what is the time period of this motion are you clear so the question is what is the time period of this motion the charge you have just hold the charge and whenever you release the charge it will go like this and then come back and this and come back so this is called as a periodic motion so what will be the time period of this periodic motion we are going to find that i hope that everyone is clear with this so let's talk about the time period okay for the time period the one thing that is clear for the time period we need a equation we need a equation in the form of f equals to kx or you can say minus kx okay so this is the type of equation that we need to find the time period okay sir so how to find the time period that's up or you can say you can also have an equation like this acceleration is equals to minus omega square x it is a basic equation that you have studied in shm equation from shm okay sir from shm simple harmonic motion yeah correct so from here let's have an equation let's form the equation first okay let's form the equation first equation on this charge so what will be the equation it will be the equation of f net f net so for the f net we need to draw the fbd fbd means free body diagram let us say this is f1 and this is f2 so f net will be f1 minus f2 okay so we need to find this equation so let's come here and find the equation f1 minus f2 what is f1 let's talk about f1 what is f1 f1 is k small q capital q upon what is the distance a by 2 minus x to the whole square this is the f1 
and what about f2 what about f2 f2 is the force due to this charge so what will be the force k small q capital q upon a by 2 minus sorry plus x are you getting it so this will be the fundamental equation and we will be solving this equation find the time period okay so let's come here just rewrite the whole equation k small q capital q upon a by 2 minus x to the whole square minus k small q capital q upon a by 2 plus this is the basic equation of f net are you getting it so from here you can see we can just take common we can take this term as common okay sir another thing what we are left with is this what we are left with is this okay so we have to solve this also yes sir, we have to solve this also so let's solve it by solving let's uh, just combine it so by the combination you can see take the LCM no just do it just do it normally as normal as you can a by 2 plus x to the whole square minus a by 2 minus x to the whole square isn't it it will be like that and divided by let us say a by 2 minus x to the whole square multiplied by a by 2 plus x to the whole square so what we'll be getting is simply a by 2 plus x into a by 2 minus x to the whole square and here a by 2 plus x a by 2 minus x so it will be like a plus b into a minus b so what will we get we will be getting we will be getting k small q capital q in bracket we will be yeah one more thing we will expand this equation we will expand this equation so by expanding we will be getting something like a by 2 to the whole square plus x to the whole square plus a x y a x 2 times a b 2 will cancel out 2 so let's just write it here otherwise you will be confused so it's like that okay and the another equation was minus a by 2 to the whole square plus x square minus a x isn't it because we have expanded both the brackets and after expanding both the brackets now we are going to write the equation that was in denominator so what is the equation it will be like it will be like a by 2 to the power minus x square to the whole square how a plus b a minus b a plus b and a minus b by this formula we can write this equation as it is okay is that clear so after that what we should do we should just simplify it the question is being solved you just need to simplify it so first thing this will cancel this and that plus x will cancel this minus x what we will be having is ax plus minus of minus ax it will also be plus ax so we will be having into 2ax getting it and the other thing is other thing is i have mentioned it in the previous slide 
that x is very small very small means a by 2 a by 2 is very very larger than x okay so i hope you are getting this after that what we need to do is solve this now you can see a square by 2 minus x square it will be like a square by 4 minus x square minus x square to the power 4 square this is the first thing another mathematical property that you need to remember it's very important property that you need to remember oh, come on. what is happening Wait a second. So, what is the property that you need to understand is a mathematical property. Let us say something like a plus x to the power n will be equals to a plus nx if a is very very greater than x this is a property that you need to understand okay so we will be applying this property here also by application of this property but first of all by the application of this property you will be getting something like this a square by 4 minus 2x square okay 2x square sorry 2x square clear so till now I think you will not be having any doubt the other thing is the other property is if a square by 2 is very very greater than x then a square by 2 to the whole square will even more greater than x square okay so by this property we can assume that a by 2 to the power whole square is approximately equal to a by 2 to the power whole square plus x square okay or you can say minus x square whatever you want so we will take this assumption here we will be taking this assumption here that a square by 4 is approximately equals to a square by 4 minus x square because x square is very very small by this we can say that we only need to write here is a square by Oh, okay now you can just uh, understand what am i saying so by this sorry about that it's powerful by this thing you can see a to the power 4 will be cancelled out by 1a and we will be remaining with a to the power 3 the other thing that is here is 2x upon a cube into 4 so this is our final equation you can see f net is equals to 4 k q capital q 2 into x upon a cube okay so now from here we can see that f net is equals to 8 k q q x upon a to the power 4 8 cube sorry 8 cube okay and now what you can do is you can compare it with f equals to kx you can compare it with f equals to kx by com by comparing it we can understand that this term 
everything is constant a is constant capital q constant small q constant k is also constant so here you can see this k can be replaced by this big term one more thing to understand that this and this these two k's are different this is from fhm and that is electrostatic constant okay these two k's are different but we have compared it this is the first thing that you can compare with another thing that you can compare with is whenever you write f net you can also write m into a where m is mass of the charge a is acceleration of the charge is equals to 8k small q capital q into x upon a q okay and another thing is we will just write it ac acceleration it's not these two a's are also different this is acceleration and this is distance between the charges so these two are already different now you can just rearrange it like this and the other thing you can compare it with acceleration equals to minus omega square x you can just ignore o minus because it indicates that the acceleration is toward its mean position so what you can compare is this omega square is equals to this term okay this x will be the displacement this will be the acceleration and this omega square will be 8 kq q upon m a q by this you can get that omega is equals to 8 kq capital q upon sorry about that m a q okay you have find out the omega and after finding out the omega you can find out the time period by 2 pi by omega and what will be the time period here 2 pi root what it will be ma cube upon into okay i hope you get it i hope you get the answer of the time period how to calculate the time period of a small charge performing the shm between the two positive charges okay you can copy it <clears throat> there is also one more case that is about what will happen if we put a negative charge between these two positive charges so let's have another case case number 2 what will happen if we put a negative charge between these two positive charges okay having a distance a and there is a negative charge minus q then what will happen so let's calculate it what will happen if we are having this negative charge between these two positive charges all right so this will be a by 2 okay this will also be a by 2 okay now let's assume now let's have something very much factual that is they are now attracting this negative charge towards each other isn't it they are now attracting this negative charge towards each other are you getting it so by attraction you can see that this f1 whenever we will displace this charge by a small x then this f1 will increase and this f2 will decrease isn't it 
that f1 will increase and f2 will decrease that is why it is horizontally in unstable equilibrium which means whenever we just displace it from its mean position it will never come back to its mean position it will always go far from its mean position that is why it is horizontally unstable equilibrium are you getting it what am i saying okay that is why it is horizontally unstable equilibrium now what about the stable equilibrium in what condition will it be stable equilibrium let's have a check on it let's have a check on it okay are you getting it all right now what we are going to do is checking what will be the condition in which this negative charge will be in equilibrium stable equilibrium okay so let us have the condition that is just displace it by a little distance x upside vertically now we are displacing the charge vertically a little bit okay like say this is the line and we have displaced the charge vertically a little bit very small so here the x displacement is also very very smaller than a okay here the x this is also very very smaller than a clear if this is very very smaller than a what will be doing is drawing an fbd is drawing an fbd of this charge let us suppose we have just displaced it a little bit like like this this much x okay a little bit x and this will be a by 2 this will also be a by 2 so you can see that these two charges will try to attract it all right these two charges will try to attract it so now let's find out how much force net force will this charge be experiencing clear so what is happening here this force is applying a force toward it and this force is applying toward themselves so what will be the net force i think the net force will be in this direction okay so now let's try to find the angle what will be this angle okay what will be this angle uh, don't you all right so what will be this angle is actually can be seen okay this is x let us say this angle to be theta okay this angle to be theta so what will happen here that theta will be sin theta will be what x upon under root a by 2 to the power whole square plus x square isn't it it will be like that base upon hypotenuse sorry perpendicular upon hypotenuse perpendicular upon hypotenuse okay okay sin theta but we know that x is very very small so you have already know that that sin x will be equals to x if x is approximately equal to 
और यू कैन से एक्स इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल ओके वेरी वेरी स्मॉल क्लियर इन दिस केस वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस ऑल्सो सो लेट्स हैव This this was f, this was f, this was theta, this was also theta. So if this is x, the force that will be having that f cos theta, and here was f sine, sorry, f cos theta, and f net will be equal to f sine theta of this, and f sine theta of this force. So what will be the f net? It will be two times f sine theta. Okay, so this will be the two times of f sine theta. Getting it? All right. So what will happen next? We will be solving it. Okay, f sine theta. What is f? What is f? F is equals to what is the magnitude of f? K q q upon what is distance? This hypotenuse is the distance. Okay, sir. So what will be this? Root a square by two plus x square to the whole square into. Sorry, this was f, no? Yeah. So this will be f here. If f is if f is this. What will be the two f sine theta? What will be two f sine theta? If f is this, what will be two f sine theta? Two. What is f? K q q upon root a square. Sorry, no root because it will be cancelled by the square. A square upon a. Uh, what am I doing? A square by four plus. X square. What was sine theta? X upon under root a square by four plus. Getting it? I hope you are getting it. What am I saying? Okay. So now you can simplify it. You can simplify it by solving it. X upon what will be this? If you will just see properly, it is written as that, isn't it? It is written as three by two because these two terms are same. This term and the term inside the root is same. That is why it will be the power of three by four. So what is now? This term again came. What we will do? We will assume it to be approximately equals to a square by four. Why? Because x is very very small. Getting it? Okay. Why? Because x is very very small. So from here you can see. that we have got another equation of something like this clear what we have got here we have got here 2 k q q x upon this will be a to the power 3 and this will be 4 to the power 3 by 2 will be like 8 why 4 ka 4 square root is 2 and 2 ka cube is 8 it will be like this and this will be 16 k q q x upon q okay it is a cube it is a cube getting it so now you can compare it with Now you can compare this term Now you can compare this term with like this So 
so this m will be here and from here you can compare it with minus indicates that it is a restoring force isn't it minus indicates that it is a restoring force and here omega square will be equal to this term and this x will be the displacement what we are having here we are having here as omega is equal to 16 k q q upon m a q clear so from here we can say the time period is equal to 2 pi by omega and it will be equal to 2 pi root m a q upon 16 k q q and this is our the final target of the question i hope you are getting it okay so yeah one more thing that i need to tell you that is in the previous case in the previous case when we were having this plus 2 plus 2 charges and in between there was also plus q you can see that whenever we will displace this plus q at the distance x from it what will happen is that this charge will try to force it outside and this charge will also try to force it outside so the net force will be outwards so in this condition it will be also unstable equilibrium okay i think you are getting it what am i saying i think you are getting what am i saying so this is the unstable equilibrium in the previous case okay so we were here very correct yeah there was one mistake also here that it will not be 4 actually we are squaring it off we are just squaring it off so it will be much higher like 60 it will be much higher like 16 okay it was a mistake sorry for the mistake it will be 16 so from here we can just correct it it will be like 32 and if it will be 32 what will be having if it will be 32 then we will be having okay clear you can note it down so we have completed the two cases of time period in this conditions clear let's have another example of this okay so now we will be having coulomb's law in a medium okay so we are going to study about coulomb's law in a medium that how electric field or electric force can be affected by a medium also clear because medium also affect the property of charges clear so in the next turn we will be having this topic and it, there will be much more clear so we are signing off this lecture right now okay have a good day and uh, bye